Hey, what's up, garden friends? You got a leaf in your mouth, baby? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. End of the season here, gonna be moving the plants in fairly soon. They'll be in by the time this video comes out, but I thought it'd be nice to walk around and just talk about some of the highlights of the year while we can still look at some of them. Um, excuse you, who told you you could chew on the hibiscus? You eat my hibiscus flowers? Normally he wouldn't get away with that, but I'm filming a video and I think he's learned that if I have a camera in my hands, he can get away with things. And I'm fairly certain that that hibiscus flower was already laying on the ground. It's windy out and it's been blowing those things around. The first highlight for me of the year, well, you can't see it right now, but you saw it most of the season, was that beautiful row of impatience that was over here. The color, the ease, you just can't go wrong with it. I think that that's always one of my favorite things to do in the garden is to plant a big drift of impatience whether it's in my front yard or my backyard. I always love the outcome. It's something that could be seen from pretty much everywhere on the patio and just lit the area up. I don't like the area up, you know what I mean. Drew the eye in, really created a focal point that was a lot of fun to look at. Now they're all up. There's gingers over here, which I would also consider a highlight because anytime you can get perennials in the ground, that's exciting. I cannot wait to see these gingers grow over the years, hopefully something will come from the begonia that's down here and then that time traveler, Hosta. I didn't have the perennials on my list, but they should have been. Perennials are always exciting. Have the clethra, it's fun. Can't wait for that to flower next year. I have a couple of those actually. I can't, okay, I can't say every single thing I plant is gonna be a highlight. That's not how highlight videos work. It's gotta be what stands out the most. The new furniture, that was a big deal. Really just doing a total overhaul of this entire area is something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time, for a few years. So this was a project of patience. You know, 2020 happened and all the 2020 things, plus I was sick, had the cancer and the surgery, so I couldn't even fathom being able to gut the old rotten furniture out of here, bring in new furniture, deal with that tiki bar. It just wasn't going to happen. So I was really excited to get the new table out here. Things are messy right now because I'm in the process of breaking things down to take them inside. I probably should have filmed this last week before I started doing all that, but hey, you get it. The space is now much more open, especially now that I don't have the dog pen all over the place out here. That was necessary for him a couple months ago, but he just jumps right over that now, so there's no point. I still have a bunch of stuff down here that I use to keep him from being able to get over here, but don't need that anymore. So I can put that away. It's another thing I'm excited about. Uh, the heliconias. <laughs> How could I not mention that? One of my all-time favorite plants. I could never find them for sale up here this far north. So when I did, I bought a lot. I won't say how many, but it was maybe between like, I don't know, 24 and 30. Yeah, I went all out. I was like, you know what? I really wasn't able to do much gardening last year in 2020. And it just seemed like an opportunity to snag. So I did. I loved having them out here. The hummingbirds have been enjoying them. They had a lot of color, a lot of vibrance. Oh, something else that really stands out to me for this year is all the growth on these gingers. You know, these were all just transplanted last year. Each one was just a little rhizome. They only had like two or three growths on them. And we had that horrible winter. Talked about it in all the garden tours, how I was really nervous about them maybe not coming back with that really bad winter, but they did. Every single one of them returned. They flowered. The clumps aren't super established yet and not that big. So the flowering was only fun to look at for like, I don't know maybe two to three weeks. As these get bigger, they'll have more growths on them and be able to get more flowers out of them. And really, I would say another huge highlight for me was just this overall space in general. What I call my garden window spot, not with the pool stuff there. Somebody else keeps setting that there and I've been asking them not to. It's, it does, don't worry about it. But I loved how everything filled out here with the sable miners that got planted last summer. They put on a good amount of growth. The overall thing that I wanted in this spot was for it to just look like there was a lush little garden tucked away in the corner that was beautiful when you come from walking around here around this path that like almost surprises you because it's like, whoa, there's a lot over there. And then to have a beautiful view from that big window in the house. I absolutely loved being in the kitchen, seeing the Alexander palm with the orange spikes from the gingers that come up at just the right height below that window with the backdrop of that reddish green foliage from the cannas. And then sometimes you could see the purple flowers from the rulias coming up. Everything about this spot just made me happy. Well, that's a stretch, not really. I've been fighting some weed vines over here. That didn't make me too happy, but otherwise, you know what I mean? The aesthetic of it when it was in its prime was just glorious. Always nice when you have something pictured in your head and then it, it actually happens. It doesn't look that great right now, but hopefully I probably had something up on the screen so you can see what it looked like. Oh, one of those gingers is still blooming over here. It even has some growth coming up that if it doesn't 
frost in the next couple weeks might get some flowers on but that seems unlikely i would imagine that that's probably not going to happen and this video probably won't be out until like december so none of this will be here by then it's fun looking at it be nice to see it again next year okay and then the very last area or project that I would consider to be a highlight of the year is this hot tub wall. The hot tub was out being repaired most of the summer. It just got delivered, all fixed and ready to go like a week and a half ago. So I was like, well, I have this big wall here. Might as well just, why don't we just fill it up with plants, right? Planted up these deck planters with some Super Tuna Vista bubble gum, some Tropical Rose Sun Impatiens with some of the Heliconias in the back because I, I had an awful lot of them. Here, I may as well put them there. The entire spot, and it's a little messy right now because you know, I'm doing stuff out here, but this entire spot just was gorgeous all year. I loved looking at it. It was beautiful from in the house. It really everywhere because the pop of color from the freckles croton right there with all of the pink i was on the fence about having those two shades of pink together but when i planted those up it was like well these are what i have i'm not going to go buy anything else because i think i did this in september no august i did this in august i didn't i didn't feel like buying new plants when i already had them so i just made it work and i'm okay with it yeah i thought it would bother me but it really didn't it looked gorgeous i loved being in the house in the morning in the kitchen and walking around pumpkin villa in her cat tree and i'd see all these beautiful hints of pink behind her with the variegation on that tree hype that <laughs> the variegated sea hibiscus looked gorgeous there starting to get a little bit tongue-tied and then i have some things over here that are just in the way from other videos i've been filming but there's a nice another row of heliconias there and then that beautiful dracaena in the background yeah it was nice to look at from in the kitchen from walking around down there on the patio to even sitting here at the table it's just so much color so much texture it was bright and vibrant and lush and it didn't feel over the i mean it looks kind of over the top and it will not work for being able to get in and out of the hot tub i don't think that this is safe I'm going to need to push those a little bit further apart next year that's okay though it'll still work even if these are just a smidge moved aside and there it is those are to me like the biggest highlights of the year uh, well i can't say that there are some other things like getting a puppy finding out that my kids are i was clear of all that that was all pretty good too. Those are bigger highlights in the garden, but in the garden, these are the things that stood out to me the absolute most. What brought me the most joy and what I was the most excited about. And I love like the planting beds over here, but it was pretty similar to what I had done the year prior. So while I liked it, I was also like, yeah, that's nice, but wasn't necessarily new. You know what I mean? I will probably be doing something very similar over here next year, but with more space in there because gotta be able to get another. Although, I don't, I don't ever really use a hot tub during the summer. When it's like 95 degrees outside, I don't want to be sitting there cooking. That's not fun. Those are all things to think about next year. It's that time of year when this video comes out, be doing all the planning and the thinking about what's to happen in the garden. That's exciting. Hey, right, so everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. What's life like right now? I'm filming this in late October. This video doesn't come out until December, but like I said, needed to be able to get the shots of everything while they were still out here. It feels more natural that way. I could always use clips from other videos and insert them into voiceovers, but I don't know. I prefer to be able to walk around and actually talk about what's in front of me. Is it Christmas? Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah? What's going on right now? Maybe it's Happy New Year. I don't know, whatever it is, hope, it, hope it's happy and merry for you. Whether it's something or nothing, just hope life is good. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Love talking to everybody. What are some of the things that stood out to you the most in your garden? I thought about blending this in with like the failures and just like plans for next year, but I kind of wanted this as a standalone video. I think that it's nice to just have the positive just in there with the positive. I'll do something separate for the failures. Yeah, that, that's just what works best for me. All right, hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. And if I can't remember if I said it or not, comment down below, say hi. I love talking to everybody. Hope life's good. Yeah, we did this already because I said, let me know what your highlights were in your garden. Got it. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.